In this example, we're going to use Dropbox to move data from the PC into an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, this has come up because uh, some corporate environments don't want you to load iTunes, which I have down here, you can see here. But um, uh, if the corporation doesn't support that, you need another way to get the data into the iPad. What we've done is we've added a new option to Timer Pro to accommodate this. So when you're ready and you have your, your template ready, you can do the same as usual, always go download to device, you'll select your iPad and you'll select where you want it to be put. So you'll find the location here. Now I've already sent this down here, you can see the files in here. So here's a sample for the Dropbox, this is the Excel sheet. And what we've done is we've created not one file but two files down here. This is a sample for Dropbox, this is a default one that you would use if you were passing it via a connection, a USB connection, use the DB3 file, that's the native format. Now Dropbox does not support the DB3 format, so what we've done is we've made instantly a copy of this one. You can see it's called Dropbox.md. This format is recognized by Dropbox and it will automatically be maintained by Dropbox. So you don't have to do anything, you'll actually get two, two files here. One a DB3, one an MD file. And the MD file is the one that you want to, want to place into Dropbox. So I come down here. Now what I've done here, I've created the same folder structure in my Dropbox. Here's Time and Pro Time Studies, and I have the templates for the device. This would be the blank templates going down to the device, and the templates back from the device. So I'm going to put this one into templates for the device. So open this up here, and you can see it's completely empty right now. I click on the upload option in Dropbox. I choose the files, and I go to my uh, folder over here which is in my documents and in my PDA time studies right here. Templates for the device. And what I'm looking for here is the MD file. So you transfer over to Dropbox the MD file, not the DB3 file, the MD file. And we click on the open. And it's very small, so it'll only take a few seconds to go up there. So now you can see it inside the Dropbox. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the iPad and see what we see on the iPad in this case. Okay, so here we are on the iPad here, and you can see here's the Timer Pro icon. So we click on that, and you'll notice a new option down at the bottom here. It says Dropbox. So what I'm going to do is go to the Dropbox here, and here are all my Dropbox accounts. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down to my Timer Pro Time Studies, this one right here, and I just click on it. And here are the two folders. You can see the folders we had in the background here. So if I go back up a level here in the background, you can see templates back from the device, templates for the device. You can see the same right here. And then I'm going to do templates for the device. So I select it here. And if I open it up here in the background, you'll see there's only one file in here right now. And that's a sample for Dropbox right here. So you can see it's got that right. And all I do is I click on the one that I want to bring in. So I tap on it here. And it says, download selected files, sample for Dropbox MD. And that's going to hit the download here. This is going to take it from the Dropbox and drop it into the iPad. So I click on it there and it's basically done. And then I can just go back up here and I select the option down here, back to Timer Pro. And now I'm back in here and I go to select templates. And there you see sample for Dropbox is now in here. I can then pick that up just like I would any other one. Say I want to use it and go and create a new study. Call it uh, DB1. And it comes up and I'm ready to start taking my observations now. I can just make a bunch of observations here. So I'm just throwing anything in here. So you complete your time study as you would normally. And then I'm going to say I'm stop it. I say done. And when I'm done, I'm ready to pass it back up to Dropbox. So I touch the Dropbox down at the bottom here. And here are all my folders again. I go back down. Now this time what I want to do is I'm going to find the folder I want to put it in here. If I click the Timer Pro Time Studies, I'm going to go Templates back from the device right here. The Templates back from the device is the folder that's going to contain the studies with the data in it. And then all you do is you touch the plus sign here at the top right hand corner. So I tap on that and it says Upload to Dropbox. I can create a folder if I want to. I'm going to Upload to Dropbox and I pick the one I want. So this time I'm going to do the sample for Dropbox and I just say use at the bottom here. 
and then it's in there just like that it's up there now it's in the sample for Dropbox and the templates back from the device again I go back to Timer Pro by tapping down here and I can just end the session and exit out here if I want back on the PC I'm ready to go into my templates back from the device here's the one that contains the data and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that so I just click on the link here and I can say close out of this and just say download and I'm going to bring it back in to save as and this time I'm going to put it back into my documents my PDA time studies templates back from the device the equivalent folder on the PC and I'm just going to stick it right in here it's very quick it's done and then what you do is you go back to your Excel sheet and you go import from the device we select the iPad we go back to the PDA time studies templates back from the device here's a sample for Dropbox this is the one that came down from the iPad click on the open give it a couple of seconds and here are all the observations I just collected there and from here you can go right away to the main menu and do your time study reports and everything here under the generate reports so again this is just showing you the idea of quickly taking your data and using the Dropbox to transfer it from the PC into the iPad.